Uh, hello there, year nine. Um, you're an exciting time where you are choosing your pathways and I'm gonna to talk to you just very quickly today uh, about religious studies um, and why I am passionate about it and why I think it's a subject that so many of you might be able to do and choose as one of your options. Um, and I think I'll start by saying that religious studies, uh, and I'll, I'll put forward a misconception, um, religious studies is not just about reading a Bible or reading the Quran or, or just, you know, just thinking about one particular religion. It's a massively broad um, subject and there's so much of our lives that actually that we cover over the two years of content. Um, firstly, I think I'll say that religious studies is about ethics. It's about the study of kind of the questions that really challenge us to, uh, to think about in life. What happens when this happens? What, what do we choose to do? What do we choose to look at? These are big questions. These are difficult questions. Um, questions around suicide, the ethics of whether that's right and wrong, and um, blood transfusions, um, questions around um, whether euthanasia is ever acceptable, abortion, for example. But also, it's not just about the ethics, it's about the philosophy. Big questions about the right and the wrong around what happens when we die. These big questions of why am I alive? Why do we exist? These are difficult questions and that we choose to seek to explore and work out not just what religious views are, but also from a humanist point of view, from an atheist point of view. And actually, what do people in wider society say about these really big philosophical questions? We look at morality, the rights and wrongs of war, the rights and wrongs of crime and punishment. How do we treat prisoners? Um, and alongside that, we're studying culture. We're studying our kind of religious kind of cultures and our normalised cultures in society and ethnicity and how that plays uh, and influences the different religions that exist worldwide. I must warn you at this point, this is a highly academic subject. Okay, and I put that warning forward to you because I don't want you to go into this subject blindly. There is an awful lot of writing involved and I'll say to you quite openly, if you don't like writing, if writing isn't for you, then maybe you should consider maybe not this subject for you. Um, and I don't want to put you off, but there is a lot involved. Um, you're going to have to write different arguments from different perspectives, from different sides, as well as your own justified point of view. Let's kind of dig into this a little bit deeper. Um, we study two main religions within the GCSE content, that of Islam and that of Christianity. And the reason for that is that is the demographic that we have within our locality. Um, and also within our communities, but also nationally, they are the two main religions. Um, and so we will study the core beliefs of both Christianity and Islam. We will look at different uh, approaches to uh, family life from different religious points of view as well. We're going to look at life and death, what happens when we die and what different religions think about that. Um, we're going to look at crime and punishment. We're going to look at war. We're going to look at what happens when we die and we're going to look at conflict as well. There's an awful lot to pack into the two years and an awful lot of content, key words, um, quotes, sources, authority that you will need to know, to learn, to revise, to memorize, so that you can use them with kind of uh, fluency when you get into your exam. Um, I'll explain how the paper works very briefly as well. There are two papers that you will sit, one for Christianity, paper one, and one for Islam, paper two. Um, each paper is one hour and 45 minutes long. So they are very long papers with an awful lot of writing involved. And I encourage you to speak to any year 10 student, any year 11 student in the academy to ask them about their experience of that amount of writing. Um, the kind of qualities I need from you, these are qualities that I need from you as you go forward if you were to sign up for RS and, and use it as your pathways. Um, I need you to be argumentative, and I don't mean in the bad way. I mean in a way that means that you can put your point of view forward, you can listen to other people's points of view, um, and really challenge yourself to be open with that. And so with that, I also need you to be open-minded. Open-minded to the fact that there are other people in our society, other people in your uh, tutor group, in the school community, that might have different views to you. And I need you to be open-minded and receptive to those. I need you to be hard working. This isn't gonna work if you sign up and don't do anything at home, okay? If you choose this as a pathways, I need you to go home, I need you to be revising lots to going through keywords or the source of authority so that you can embed those into what you are talking about. I do need you to be academically confident or be open to being academically confident given what I've talked about in terms of the writing. And last but not least, empathy. I need you to be empathetic, empathetic to those around you we're going to be looking at some really kind of complex and difficult ethical issues and philosophical issues and it's really important to me that you're being receptive to the fact that people in the room might be different to you 
and listening to their responses, putting yourself in other people's shoes. If all of this sounds like something that's in it for you, if you're like, actually, this sounds exactly what I wanna do, I'm up for being hardworking, I'm up for revising content at home and going through the vast kind of plethora of different religious attitudes, then this might be the subject for you. Thank you.